Today's video is brought to you by Paradox. Whatever do you mean, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, I present before you the bald man washing his hair. As you can see, it is glitching. It's no fault of mine. I am the bald man, clearly. Bald. Balding. Male pattern baldness sets in. How do you stop it? How do you stop it? To get you some Rogaine. Talk to you, one of those motherfuckers cuts off all of his hair. But you're washing your hair, you don't have it. I don't. Don't forget it. First off, you believe that you see a bald head and it's a lie. The machines, they're lying to you. They're lying to you about everything. All kinds of, whoa, there's the hair, whoa, it's back. What's, what's going on? Watching for glitches. It's lesson number one. Come to Paradox School, you gotta learn some things don't make sense. Like what's this red, what's this red glow on your head? I lost my hair due to sunburn. Very hot sun in the desert, I was stuck in there, and I pulled it out. I pulled it out so that I could remain cool. But unbeknownst to me, my naked, bald, baby ass skin upon my head had too many years. Too many years where there was no, how do you say? What's the word? You've had hair all that time. I've had hair all that time. You forget when you have so much hair. Golden locks spread out amongst the world. You think, oh man, I'll just cut this hair down. I'll be cool off, man. I'll fucking, everything will be fine. Everything will be trippy. Everything will be just the way it ought to be. Then, the bald baby ass skin on your head when the sun is baking down on it will burn and crisp it out. Then you'll get this red sunburn area. Then it begins to blister. Now you look like a fucking leper. I hope you're happy, you dumb fuck. What have you done? You foolish. Got to not be foolish in this world. All manner of things are going to be out there trying to capture your imagination. Your attention is the most vital attention and precious thing you have, other than your money. I need not tell you how important your money needs to be. Your money must be saved, it must be monitored, it must be well spent and garnered properly. You cannot fuck it off. If you fuck it off, you have no more money, what you gotta do? When you get old and fat, you can't do all the things that you did. You ladies, you're all pretty now. You put your makeup on. You turn up your little fucking eyelashes and everyone's, ooh. Not so much when you get old. Ask Grandma how it was. Grandma, well, she's lying about that. I was trying to get that old beaver for years. And I broke my stick. I broke my weenie. Something happened. I got the male fucking, uh... I had a dysfunctional fucking erectile situation. I got a fucking strap on and I'd still try to give her the old <laughs> She wasn't having it. She started having hot flashes. She didn't want nobody to touch her. Nobody could touch grandma. Grandpa needed some cooch. Grandpa needed that cooch. She told me no too many times. So I said, God damn woman. God damn woman. I got like God damn woman, who's going to scrub my back? Huh? Who's going to scrub my front? If not you, who's going to fold my clothes? Huh? I get pension money. That's set in stone. I worked many years to get my pension. Delivering mail and other odds and ends. At the Camel Club, I did many things. Your grandma doesn't love me anymore because my stick's not so straight. Started getting a weird crook in it. I got that weird fucking Pyronis disease where your dick looks like a banana and it's all bent. She didn't like that. 
It didn't hit the spot the same. Grandma doesn't love Grandpa anymore. Grandma's moved out. She's got her own little room. She sews and shit all day, talks shit to her little friends, and goes on little fucking card playing trips. Leaves me alone. What do I do? I don't do nothing but watch the news. I watch the news and my stories, and I take naps. Like any other decent grandpa. Your children don't know how lucky you got it.